I mean, tonight we did a great job. Um, I mean, props to Spence here. He did a great job of just uh, being aggressive on offense and, you know, how he is on defense. Um, also, props to Coach, how he coached tonight. Um, and what then was that said again? Props to you. Yeah, there we you go. did a great right. job. Did you guys all got that right? <laughs> um, and, I mean, all the guys did an amazing job tonight. And I mean, we came out and executed and got the W, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> Hey, well, we have questions. Jackson, uh, I think there's a stat that in the last five games you're 13 of 26 from the three-point line. What do you think has maybe changed for you, or how you how has your approach been the last five games that you improved your shooting that much? Uh, you know, I'm the Senate. Um, I mean, I just shoot the ball, and I feel like I'm confident in my shot. So, uh, just staying confident—that's the key. And I mean, it's going in, so it's all that matters. Did you ever maybe? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Uh, like I said, just staying confident. Uh, reps in the gym, hours in the gym with, I mean, these guys and just uh, staying in there. Um, I mean, it's paying off, so it's good to see. Coach, season low, seven turnovers, mm -hmm. first time single digit turnovers on the year. Yeah. Why do you think your offense is so efficient tonight? Um, I thought, you know, for a lot of reasons. I, I, I'm, I'm super excited about the contrast between. Uh, the game we played at LMU a month ago and, and the game today because we talk about we're so hungry to get better and we believe we're getting better and, and um, you know, sometimes immediate results can be tricky. Uh, you know, we lost a game last week that could trick us into feel like we're not getting better. But um, these guys' execution uh, was, was so much better um, in understanding what we're trying to do and then being able to execute it, it is like a world of difference when we compare the, the offensive film at their place to the offensive film here. And, you know, uh, there's some things that contribute to this, this seven turnovers. One, Asanza wasn't in the game, and he's a, he's a big impact player for them. Um, two, they're not a turnover-forcing <coughs> team. They're in the bottom third in the country in terms of forced turnovers that they cause. <coughs> With that said, um, we played teams like that, and we've, um, we've forced our own turnovers and so super proud of the guys focus um, and um, and their execution is getting better it's getting better we're just getting better and so we're, we're excited to keep pushing and you know we got we got a little bit of time left and hopefully we can continue getting better but that's was, was really important tonight to, to be under 10 so it was great it looked like when Noah came out you, you talked to him for a little bit um, the last time he came out of the game what was kind of your message to him and what did you make how he played tonight um, I thought Noah's, you know, Noah's is, is Noah has been learning urgency and what that means. We, you know, we talk about this together all the time about like we say words, but they don't really mean it. They have a definition meaning, but you, you don't understand what they mean until you're actually out there on the floor and then you review it and work on it. And his his um, his feel for what urgency means, especially on the defensive end and the communication end, is just getting better and better. And so I was really proud of him tonight because um, I thought he came in with terrific focus and I thought he played really hard. Spence, uh, offensively, you guys were talking about the efficiency and, and low turnovers. What did that feel like <coughs> as a group to, to make that happen tonight where everybody seemed to be contributing? Um, all nine guys that got in and played multiple, you know, 10 minutes or more or just everybody was efficient? I felt great. I felt super great. Um, I think the feel of the game, it all started when um, Noah dived on the floor and he, he got those, you know, a couple of loose balls and that got us feeling really good. We're like, hey, you know, we're, we're here to win. So um, just got us in a really good rhythm. So super proud of him and super proud of all the guys. You know, seven turnovers as a team is, is incredible. So we're taking care of the ball. Um, just, just really proud of him. You know, Spence had a great back-to-back -back possessions where – at the end of the first half, he dribbled and kind of kept his dribble alive all the way baseline, jumped up, uh, jumped up in the air and turned it over, right? Uncivilized. So and then, and then the very next position came down and made a really, really great, terrific, simple kind of play where he penetrated baseline the same way, came to two feet, and we ended up with a great shot out of it, and that's like the evolution of our team, and it's, it's and it's exciting. Jackson, what was uh, maybe your emotions or approach to this game after a game away, and then? Taking on a new role coming off the bench tonight? Um, you know, my team needed me in whatever way that I could come out and produce. So, I mean, I just came out with a positive mindset, um, ready to play, ready to help my guys have their back. Um, I mean, it showed tonight. So, 
Can I tell about our conversation uh, yesterday after practice? Yeah. Okay. So yesterday after practice, this is the f- this is the first game you haven't started, right? Mm-hmm. So yesterday after practice, I sat up with Jax, and I was like, <coughs> hey, listen, I think I'm going to tweak this lineup. We're going to do A, B, and C, trying to gently um, – talk to him about the possibility of coming off the bench because that, that that matters. And it was actually, it's one of my happiest moments coaching this year because Jax doesn't really get animated. And he was, he was, I got to choose my words carefully. He got super angry at me. And he, like you could hear in his voice, he's like, I don't care about starting. I just want to play and I want to go win. It was, it was the, the perfect response to a conversation like that that usually goes so different and it's a, it's a real, I mean, the, the fact that that's how he felt and that's the emotion he expressed and then he came and played this way today. It just is, you know, we, we, one of the things we're blessed with, man, we're super young, but we got real, we got tremendous character on this team and it's pretty great. Super proud of him. Coach, you guys were able to hold up in a minus 23 on the floor, but it's hard breaking through the offense. What was the game plan coming in tonight after the performance at LMU last time? Me? Uh, were you asking about uh, Le Pepe or were you asking about uh, yeah, Le Pepe, how yeah. Um, uh, you know I thought I thought you know Noah had a really tough assignment on him and um, Noah's length is real like he's got some real length to him I thought the guys communicated really really well um, you know uh, so I, I it was a team effort everything we do is a team effort because we switch so much now that it's it's you know you don't really have a dedicated matchup for the whole course of the game but I felt like Noah got us off to a good start and the rest of the guys really battled also Jackson when um, do you think in your basketball journey thus far you sort of figured out that starting is not really what's important to you it's more about being a team player and, and doing whatever it takes to win uh, I mean I feel like it wasn't a certain time. I feel like it's just always been my mindset. Um, I mean, as long as I'm out there on the floor eventually and playing basketball, that's all that matters to me. I mean, I love the game of basketball, so whenever I'm out there, I just want to do what I can. We were four and a half minutes in the second half, and I just turned and looked down the bench, and Jax was just giving me the big eyes, like, <laughs> Coach, you want, to put me, you want to put me in the game? This is actually super effective. I spent a lot of my life doing the same thing. <laughs> uh, three more questions. We had a similar question out of the Gonzaga loss, but the way that the St. Mary's game unfolded, yeah. how were you guys able to put that in the rearview mirror and then maybe put your best foot forward in, the, in a big win tonight? Yeah. Well, one thing we always talk about um, that Coach Pope does a really good job of is like, hey, <clears throat> if we had ended up beating Gonzaga or we had ended up beating St. Mary's, we were going to come back the next day and do the exact same thing that we did when we lost, which is just come back and work, you know? And... Um, so big credit to all of us, you know, all of our, our, our guys, our staff, everyone that we have around us is like, we came back and we worked and we got better and we stayed positive and we figured it out. So um, that's all you can do. Just come back and, and, and keep going. Spence, Two more questions. Spence, we've seen this team get a really good first half before and then not so great opening the second half yeah. down the stretch or that kind of thing. What was different tonight where you guys kind of had your foot on the, on the gas pedal at halftime and um, <clears throat> well, I mean, this, I think the story of our, our season has been like, hey, we're getting better since the beginning of the year to now. Like every game, we're, we're trying to get a little bit better. And this was a step that we needed to take or we had a lead and then we needed to um, figure out how to like increase it and finish the game. And, and we did a really good job and it took a really positive step forward that way as a team. Last question. Spencer, with the way that um, the last three games kind of all happened in yeah. different um, and coach has been talking about like sort of learning the price of winning, right? Um, coming into this game against LMU, LMU that have won four straight, what is this type of performance or what can this type of performance kind of do for the team moving forward? Oh, it's huge. You know, LMU, they're a really good team. They're really good in our league. Um, I think nationally they're, they're ranked pretty well. So it was a great win for us. Um, and winning just makes you feel good. You know, it, it kind of rights the ship and, um, <clears throat> but again, I, I think it just, you know, highlights the point that we can play with anybody, you know, in this league, and we've shown that. And so to get this win was just really reassuring of, of that. Yeah, any other questions? Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for being here, guys.